or two players from any part in the world. So I'm you are more than welcome to crash over here. I'm a pretty big dude, so. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, man. I know, I know. Remember, we have KOF and tequila. Y tacos. Oh, yeah, I'll say, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now. Well, winner's final. First to two? Yeah, first to two. We do yeah, first, first to two, two here at uh, okay. ICFC. And right now, Lyak is playing a little, not impatient. There, oh, gotta be careful over there. Don't want to roll out a corner. This is online. Wow, what a cross up. Can't even commentate correctly. Everything's happening too quickly. Completely right. And look at this. Uh, uh, you were saying that uh, how uncomfortable can be this match for characters. And it's happening right here for Lajek. The war simply, he has manifested himself during this tournament. Uh, he has wow. been playing better and better. Uh, on each on each next round and uh so far he looks like the man to to be beaten because uh Lajek is not was not able to stop yeah. uh, his rock and, and uh, it was a character that was not delivering trouble before yeah the girl all over Lajek not letting him breathe that was well I don't know, man. like at, at this point we're at winners finals and if Lajek can't get past uh, Dol Gore's team in one match. I would hope he has a uh, stronger backup because I feel like he's limiting himself <laughs> a little bit here. Yeah, well, I think any of these players could very easily be a top three contender for any major. So these matches will be crazy. Man, that's oh, no. fun, huh? Not able to kill right now. The Repukens are falling. A great reach over there with the with the Super Hop A. Amazing stuff. Aru, please speak to me. Yeah, I mean, that button of Rubel is so strong. It's It covers so much space. It's very fast, very active as well. So you're going to see a lot of that, I think, coming out of Lyek. Mm. The trade on the air. Let's see. Right now, El Dogor in full offense. But the grab comes out from Lajek. And look at this movement. Oh, but you're going to get shot out of the sky with that DP. And yet again, Dogor on the full offensive pockets. Picked him off. And now, but again, lets him out of the corner, but not for real. Uh, you see how uh, Lyak is taking his chances, trying to jump out, but Dogor was like, nope, we're always going to be at this part of the stage, mm -hmm. and I'm going to push it back every time. Now I'm going to do it with two extra bars. How you doing? Well, Lyak is more experienced, but I think Dogor yeah. is playing with a lot of confidence and technique, and definitely it's paying. Yeah, that's that's the big thing is he's playing so so confident right now. He's just yeah. so aggressive and it's all working out for him. Yeah, you can see Del Gore Del Gore still not hundred percent confident about approaching the carry. That's yeah. you gotta be really invisible pressure, man. For sure. Because I mean if you if you jump at the wrong time, you don't wanna eat the genocide cutter. It does so much damage. Mm-hmm. Let's see, Yamasaki has also been the great closer for La Jack. Can he do it yet again? Oh, he gets the opening, oh. but no faith, not enough faith to get the confirm. He pick it up and starts delivering a lot of damage. Gets it to the second bar. It's not gonna be enough, but with the poison and the extension, I think this yep. is going to be the death. And then you go, and we got ourselves a last character match. Yeah. Is the only Yamasaki in the tournament? Well, that we've seen in the stream. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, at least in the stream. Yes, I believe so. All right, that's Chrono with four bars. And Dolgor is going to want to make sure every one of those down C's at least touches something. Either, either it hits or it gets blocked. Dude, so I don't know what it is, but every Cronin has been missing that, that stomp at the stomp OTG all night. Yeah, only has, we have only seen that hit once, right? Oof. Oh my god. Yeah, that's part. Uh, wow. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know it had it like that. <laughs> yeah. Like, that we, are, we all are learning about so much stuff in this stream right now, guys. That was ridiculous. And that's how you, and that's why you have Cronin as an anchor. For sure. <laughs> Dogor playing so well though. It's good to see Dogor doing well uh, with this character Cronin because he uh, he was uh, also one of the original Cronin boys, you know, even before the patch playing. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so, he's a legit, one of the legit Cronin players, right? For sure, for sure. <clears throat> oh! Ooh, made cool. You know, I don't hate that for him. Honestly, like, 
we're talking about you want like another wall to, ha to for your opponent to deal with. You couldn't pick a better one than Mage and Coon. Yeah, Lyak uh, yeah, seems to seems to really favor those like uh, runaway zoning characters, and Kuhn certainly uh, supplements his play play style very well. You put him on anchor and putting Yamazaki in the secondary for it. Also, don't hate that decision. Yeah, uh, it looked like uh, there was a plan coming f into the tournament for Lejek. Yeah. And Maiden could maybe that is that secret weapon. But let's see what happens because right now he's Rock against Rio and already with the big shots here, Tanya. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I think that Rual pick Lejek was just for mental damage to other Mexican players. Sadly, <laughs> it didn't work out. And we see now the classic Maiden Kun. You know, That's despite so the fact that, you know, Rock has, like, a bigger advantage with buttons here, he can't, like, I was going to say, like, you know, Eldor, Eldor cannot afford to stay off this Oh, my hard. God. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That was a big mistake from Lajek. Let's see what he can do. Oh, wake up, grab. Oh. Why not? Is there going to be? No. No. What happened there? Kind of sloppy at the end. Both players missing a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of their wake up pressure and getting thrown out of it. I was going to say, like, uh, um, Lyx Rio, though, had a, I don't know if it was predetermined or whatever, but he had a series of uh, interactions that were just played perfectly. And then I felt like he didn't know where to go from there. And that's when things started kind of falling apart. He let the rock roll out and damage just started to mount up. And now there's rocks kind of just Ooh. doing whatever he wants. Luckily, he didn't have two bars. Or else that would have been a, for sure an activation. Yeah, completely right. There was no resources about it. Can Lajek close it out? He needs a trade and he finds it. Perfect spacing. He's going to recover a lot of health over there. So I think things are quite even right now for Arcade Rumble TG, El Dogor, and Vegas Kof Lajek. Uh, just a little bit of extra resources for Dogor, but of course, that means nothing in KOF. And what a cross up, but no, he wasn't able to confirm. Nice. Oh, wow. Big chance now. Gets the throw. Another big opportunity. I like the guard roll. Shutting down the uh, advantage. Nice. Wow. Low profile. It's going to be a lot of damage. The activation was in perfect timing. Let's see. The poison is back into the... F he has a factor. And little by little, it's hurting. Let's see. Oh, a, a complete new scenario over here by Lajek, who has been playing this as a mastery. But of course, look at all of those resources, Aru. That's a lot of potential damage. That um, that Cronen can deliver, and that, of course, is the plans from Eldor. For sure, Lajek has got his work cut out for him. He's got to run for his life right now. Yeah, that five bar Cronin. He ain't gonna spend all that bar just to get rid of this. Yamazaki either if we try to jump out of that didn't want to be stuck there for another round or another round of that yeah now Lajek is playing more confident and can win this match without any problem I think but only one mistake Ooh. one mistake will means that his character is out and so far he's pressing uh, this Cronin into the corner let's see oh. how many resources are you willing to spend only two oh. two bars are out and Yamazaki is dead yeah two bars were, were enough and now we see the secret weapon pockets mm. <laughs> so <laughs> despite how cool and great cronin is he still has to get in on this character and that is a pain in the ass another thing about this matchup is uh i don't think you can down see underneath uh Metenko's fireball because it's too slow and it's too low to the ground mm. Oh my God! You know, he probably was just like he probably, he probably told him like, "You think I'm gonna play this character defensively, right?" And then you're not gonna be able to do anything. So I'm actually gonna rush you down, and you have no defense because Maitenko <laughs> can do both. He basically called him out. That is disrespectful. Yo, yeah, that's my pillow. He would say, and uh, just like that, this is one to one. And also back into the character selection screen. Let's see if Elder Work has a no, uh, his own secret weapon or he just wants to chill down and think about the change of strategy and the change of approach. Because right now, Maiden can just, as you were saying, Pocket, he looked like a wall, but a wall that is chasing you and slamming in your face. Yeah, basically, you know, like the, the defense. Oh, I knew it was coming. 
Oh, Athena. Wait, wait, but no, Athena. Has to, uh, there has to be uh, Oh, they switch sides. Okay, but yeah, I was going to say, Athena, definitely one of those characters I think that can match that that kind of energy with Maiten Kun. Uh, she doesn't want to go in either. She can kind of be a wall, but if she has to go in, maybe she can circumvent that uh, that reversal because she has some trajectory changing moves in the air. Yeah, right, stop over here. And she's got the uh, the reflect as well to uh, to deal with of, the pillow. Yeah, to nullify that option. And it's nice to see that these car these players are uh, having a complete arsenal of, of options, right? Yeah. That they are not only staying with what uh, they are displaying first. And let's see what happens now in these four rounds between Rock and uh, and Rio. Lajek yeah. is trying to prove that his uh, Rio is able to stand against Rock Howard. This, this, these options uh, speak uh, about the knowledge that these players have to the title. Yeah, it feels like a chess match at this point. If they mm. get down to the anchor battle, we're going to see oh, them basically just play the strikes. And... Wow, what an opening round. <laughs> oh, so like, let's, okay, okay, the anti air is going to take him out. But this is what Lajek has been waiting for from Rio. These matches, the board was able to shut down... Um, uh, Rio Sakasaki, but right now uh, the, the response is, is great and Cronin doesn't have as many resources as we have seen it, so right now Aru, I think Lajek is on a great position. Yeah, I totally agree I mean, Lajek is really setting the pace with this Rio, going in, going crazy and the glory is You may not get past a Rio with the, with the uh, Cronin at this rate Yeah, now oh, Lajek has all the that? resources He's just letting him jump He's too busy looking for the down Z, I think. Watch out. And Lajek, look at this playing perfect oh, spacing. Oh my God. God. That was masterful. That was a complete poetry. Mm, a verse in a book, my dear, her pockets. He what a bad that down C. He was yeah. looking for that down C the entire round and like it betrayed him because either it was missing or it just was not effective and then the last time it just came at a time where the Rio was in the air and got clubbed and and remember everyone win. even though this is winner's finals this is still first to two so uh, the winner of this does advance and Layek is looking really strong right now oh, man. This, is, uh, this is now match point for Layek and it will be the, another OCB like I would believe in this Atena if it was, it was against Maiden, right? Possibly. Dude, look how yeah. little Lyak yeah. just sat there and didn't do anything until his guard bar was about to break, and now he's getting so much damage. If he at least got past the Rio, I would feel a lot better about this for El Dogor. But yeah, this is because this is because Maiden could Maiden could was an answer for. Uh... Sorry, Athena was an answer for Maiden Kun, but that was supposed to be a play. Yeah. Uh -huh. But historically, like uh, Rio doesn't do bad against Athena and right now it's proving that and Lajek is playing this masterfully using the Paris eating all of, all of those uh, Psycho Bodus and there is not a real uh, declaration of war a real danger right here from Lajek as he keeps uh, running down the clock and maybe even winning this by a time over I mean maybe but it's like the way that Athena is being played or at least rather the way that oh, Dolgor is playing Athena is just basically just non-committal oh. Go for it. Yeah, you're done. Oh, no. I am in control. <laughs> ah, and and I, I do believe that that delivered some emotional damage.